I'm Kevin Coleman with the Sada Post, and I am at First Presbyterian Church in Chillicothe at the uh, Boston Tea Party, which occurs every now and then, next few days. I'm also with uh, two ladies from the Ohio part of America 250. So, Chris and Taylor, first of all, what is America 250 about? Hi, I'm Chris Herdebees. I'm the Communications Director for America 250 Ohio. And we represent the commission, the state commission, to create Ohio celebration of the semi-quincentennial, or the 250th anniversary, of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Our commission has been charged to create and coordinate all the activities throughout the state of Ohio that will happen between now and 2020, the end of 2026. So we're excited to uh, bring programs to life, and we're excited to work with organizations like the DAR, and this wonderful experience here today for the Boston Tea Party. So this is like the bicentennial that I remember, but 50 year difference. Right. Yes. And our hope for this is really to engage all 88 counties of Ohio and give them and provide them with an opportunity to showcase what makes their county so special and why we should celebrate and learn more about not only where we've been, where we are, but where we plan to go with our shared future. So we hope that this will just be one of many different events that we can highlight and showcase to really bring people out to learn more about the hidden gems in their own backyards. Well, Ohio was mostly a, uh, a wilderness at the time, uh, populated by the American Indians, and we do have the uh, uh, Lord Dunmore's War in 1774 came in to the area, and then Virginia Military District, which part of Ross County is in. So. What is the role that Ohio will be playing as a part of America 250? It's a great question. Um, just as you mentioned, we were we are the 17th state, and like, we like to say we were born after the uh, revolution by the Northwest Ordinance, and we like to say that Ohio was kind of out of whole cloth. So there were the 13 original colonies, which became states. Then the next three states were basically carve-outs from that. The first original sort of state was is Ohio. And what we're going to do is really celebrate Ohio's contribution to the U.S. for the past 250 plus years. And that plus lets us talk about the native people who were here before Europeans, as well as everything that's happened since. So because Ohio has had such an impact on the U.S., we want to showcase that through everything we do. Well, people like to romanticize about Williamsburg. And I like to say as a, a tour guide and historian that Chillicothe is a Williamsburg of the new America, not colonial America, but the United States. Oh, I like that. That is a good one. So how can people learn more about America 250 and Ohio's role in it? Yeah, our website is uh, america250-ohio.org. There they can learn about the commission, some of the projects we're working on. They can also sign up for an e-newsletter or even to get involved. We are a nonprofit, uh, so if they feel led, they can even give a donation. All right. And if you could give me your names again. Mm -hmm. I'm Chris Hurtubise, spelled H-U-R-T-U-B-I-S-E. First name is C-H-R-I-S. And what's your role in? I'm the communications director. Okay. And I am Taylor Tomu, T-A-Y-L-O-R, last name T-O-M-U and I am the Outreach and Engagement Specialist at the America 250 for Ohio. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.